there was always some good and bad you can take from one of those kind of games. So we knew it would be a different kind of style, and we played the first um, first game. You know, it was totally different. It's more of a physical, um, you know, going to be aggressive type of man-to-man -man defense. But, you know, uh, I thought for the game, you know, we shot 60% for the game. You know, we got to the free throw line 29 times and shoot 80%, 88% in the free throw line. Uh, we are rebounding 12. Uh, there's some areas, again, we need to get better in. But overall, uh, I thought we got better play from a bench. It uh, starts with Rawls. Uh, I thought those were minutes, 22 minutes he gave us at the point, helped Tay rest some. Um, and Josh added two tonight. So we need those two guys adding two off that bench. But good and bad, but um, uh, things to work on, but some areas I was very pleased with. You know, we assisted on those 30 baskets, 17 of them came off assist. That means you're sharing that basketball and moving that basketball, and I like that. Questions? Jordan ended up with five assists, and Tavion was assist in there. He mentioned that he was a bit more comfortable, per se, when he was able to have Jordan out there with him in the backcourt because he was able to settle in more into that two role that uh, he's used to. Is that a combination that you wanted to throw out more as Jordan becomes more comfortable with the pace of the college game? No, we have to. I mean, first off, you know, you know, Tay's kind of filling in. Uh, and, you know, he's, it's a learning process for him at that point guard. He's a natural scorer to where he's been. Um, so we need somebody else that can play that point. Well, Rawls is a guy that we, we, we have great confidence in. You know, he, mistakes he's, he makes is just because he's, he's, a, he's a freshman. And there's a learning curve with all that. I got to live with some of them. Uh, but I've said all fall, you know, I love his abilities. I think he can um, get that ball where it's got to go. I think he can shoot it. Um, he just has to understand how tough and physical this game is. There's a loose ball that comes off there tonight, and it bounces over in front of him. And someone, he's five feet from it, and someone else is ten feet from it, and that guy gets it. Those little things. The toughness and the urgency that you've got to play with this young guy. But, you know, y'all heard me say this. I like what Rawls is going to become now. Camber Justice knocks down four threes in the first half. I think the first one was tied 8-8 when he knocked it down. Just seeing the ball go through the net early on, how much did that kind of keep you guys spark there for it? Well, you know, we haven't shot the ball great at this point. Really wasn't concerned about it because uh, I've said all fall, I see us shoot it, shoot it every day. So what he did tonight was more kind of what I see. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say he's going to go five for seven every night, but he's a capable shooter. And when teams want to zone or something, and then he got them in – Different ways, our man, our zone. Choose your poison a little bit. Uh, but him and Jared are two guys that are really capable at any night, at any time in that game, really lighting it up. And uh, that's more what we expect right there. And same with the free throw shooting. You know, we hadn't shot them great, been in the 70%. I think both games were 73%. And a lot of teams, that's a pretty good stat. I've been disappointed because I think we're a good free throw shooting team. I don't know if we're 88% every night. Probably not that, but I think we're a good free throw shooting team. Coach gave up 20 offensive rebounds. What can you kind of do to try to fix that going forward? Play, not play so much zone. So choose your poison a little bit. Uh, they go four for 21, three point line. What was it? Four for 21. So choose your poison. We zone, then I get shot a lot and gave up too many off offensive rebounds in that zone. You know, the first half, I know they had 10. Taylor wasn't – he had six points the first half. But the second half, he went to war. He got loose balls, got his hands on stuff around that rim. And he got quick to sell some balls. And uh, he got some baskets like that. He's a good player, really good player. Did you like the way your team has acted? Well, um, uh, we got to get better at that because we're getting ready to go play a pressing team. Um, you know, those areas we got to get better at. But it was good. We saw some tonight. You know, I don't know if if that first seven guys turned it over much. We turned it over about three times in that last few minutes with some, some other guys we don't need to have them. But those areas we, we have to get, we'll get better at in a hurry. We won't be an easy team to press, especially we can put enough people out there and handle and pass that basketball.